What you really want is to be up there. In the above world. Is that even possible? It's what I live for. She doesn't stand a chance. Disney's The Little Mermaid. Rated PG in theaters May 26. I talked to Ivy this morning. She was discharged late last night. And she said she's feeling better. Phew. <laughs> now we can go back to feeling bad for ourselves for forfeiting. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. First Petra, then Ivy. Don't forget about Sage. I can't believe she would do that to me. She just ripped off our song, like without any warning. Ice cold. She went to all that trouble to beat us and we didn't even get to take the stage. You gotta admit, it's a little funny. <laughs> you can say that again. Hey. What happened yesterday with you and Kara? You seem pretty mad. I'm just tired of feeling like everyone's keeping secrets from me. And Kara kept two huge things from me. She was hooking up with my brother and she knew about the football team sabotaging me. I don't know if we could come back from that. She had so many opportunities to come clean and she didn't. I don't know anything about Ben and Kara, but I'm sure she thought she was protecting you by keeping the secret about the team. Doesn't she know I can fight my own battles? I mean, duh. You can fight yours and mine. <laughs> You're stronger than any of us. You really are. Even though Kara didn't do things correctly, what matters is that she was thinking of you. All of us make mistakes sometimes. I think you should forgive her. If not for her, for yourself. Take it from me. I was there. Things with Finn haven't been easy. You've got a really big heart. Something like that is hard to forgive. It is, but I have to remind myself that in the end, he was just looking out for me. That's what friendship is. No one can get it right all the time, but we can try. Besides, being pissed off all the time is exhausting. You deserve to be happy, Bailey. So do you. We fly. Good, you're all here. Poppy, what's going on? You said we had an emergency dance meeting. And I thought that you were giving me your history notes. You told me you had an idea for a recycling program. I lied to all of you. Look, I'm tired of us fighting all the time, so I've decided to take things into my own hands. We're not leaving until we're friends again. Fine, whatever. I think it's safe to say that high school has not been easy for any of us. But we used to listen to each other and now we're totally not hearing anything anyone has to say. So, let's talk. Fine, I'll start. I get that Harmony left Simone in charge, but if I'm being honest, it does not feel the same without her. I miss Harmony. She wasn't in charge of us, but she kept us together. I'm trying to keep the group together, but I guess I've been pushing you guys apart. It's like Harmony left me these bracelets and didn't give me an instruction manual. But instead of asking for help, you went and made all the decisions on your own. She didn't do it on her own. I was helping her. Yeah, helping her by tests. It was better than you. Anytime she would ask you for help, you basically told her to get lost. You know, I appreciate you trying to help Poppy, but I think this meeting is over. Yeah, I gotta go meet Aiken. Thanks for trying, but I guess that's all there is to say. <laughs> Feeling better? I messed up regionals. Theo, I feel awful. It's okay. No one cares. We're all just worried about you. I talked to your mother. She said that- My mom's just making a big deal. She said it was pretty serious. Ivy, why didn't you tell me you were, you were- That I was what? What do you want me to say, that I have an eating disorder? Fine, I do. I can't help it. I had it under control for a while, but with the stress of the move, Nick, and my feelings for you, I... I just... 
I wish I'd known. Now you do. But you don't have to worry. My mom won't leave me alone. Last time this sort of thing happened, she started monitoring all my meals, and I had to talk to someone. I'm in good hands. Yeah. She said you'll be okay soon. Do you want me to stay here with you? I can if you want. It's okay. You should get to school. I'll see you tonight at homecoming. Are you sure you still want to go? Yeah, of course. Don't you? Of course. Uh, hey, um, do you remember anything from yesterday? Everything was kind of hazy, but you were there and you said I've got you. And then nothing. And that's it? That's it. Why? No reason. People said you should be with her. As soon as you lay her down, she'll leave this town. So it's the silent treatment. Do you know what it's like? being lied to over and over. The first time, you're annoyed. The second time, you're mad. But eventually, you just don't want to deal with it anymore. And that's where I'm at. Give me a break, Kara. I know I should have told you. I just couldn't. So you kissed my brother. Big deal. You think I can't handle it? I wasn't protecting you, Bailey. I was protecting me. It all happened so fast, and I never thought Ben and I would ever be a thing. And I was worried that if I told you, you wouldn't like it. Like the spell I was under would break. Why would I want to take that away from you? I'm your friend. Don't you get it, Bailey? I wanted your approval. I wanted to know that you thought I could date Ben. Why would I think that you couldn't? Because any time he was brought up, you made it very clear that I wasn't good enough. You put Ben on a pedestal, and me, I felt like I didn't belong there. I do put him on a pedestal, but I put you on one too. I'm sorry my words ever made you feel less than, Kara. I think you're the best. If anything, it's Ben who doesn't deserve you. I'm sorry he put you through that. I'm sorry I hid my relationship from you. I hated it. It's okay. I love you. I love you too. I heard about what happened. How's Ivy? She's recovering. I want to be honest with you. I screwed up really badly. There's a lot of reasons for that. And trust me, I'm paying the price. I'm sorry. It's nice to hear you say that. The thing is, out of everything I put at risk of losing, the biggest was you. My suspension ends tomorrow. I'm gonna talk to Miss Briggs and try to get back on the team, and I'm gonna make it to college, one way or another, but I don't wanna do it alone. I wanna be with you. I kissed Ivy. So I was right. I'm so sorry. It was in the heat of the moment. Are you sorry, Theo? Or are you glad that it finally happened? How long have you been wanting to do it? Petra, I... All those years of dreaming together and building together, you just shoved it all down the drain. You were always my anchor, Theo. I thought it was yours too. I guess I didn't realize when all that changed. Petra, please. Hey. Hey. So, you going to homecoming? Sorry, but are you not mad at me anymore? As Petra would probably say it, the negative energy was blocking up my chakras. No, I'm not mad anymore. Just don't ever do it again. I promise. Good. So, homecoming? I don't think so. I'm going out of town. Where? I've been talking with my ex-girlfriend Kylie, and I'm going to surprise her in San Francisco. Do your parents know? Yeah, they're cool with it. 
and I'm gonna stay with my aunt and uncle for the weekend. Not that it's my business, but are you sure you're not running away from what's here? I don't know what went down with you and Ivy, but... Ivy knows what she wants, and it's, it's not... Um... Can you do me a favor, though, if you see her tonight? Sure, what? Will you give this to her for me? Thanks. I can't believe your mom's letting you go to homecoming. Honestly, me either. Promise me I'll take it easy. You've had a rough week. Get a breath of fresh air while you're making out with Theo. Oh, stop. Petra's not even suspended anymore. Plus, all the girls are fighting. It's gonna be so awkward. He chose you. I don't know. I have a weird feeling. Get out of your head. I guess. Let's just think about your dress and your makeup. Plus, I have something for you. What is it? Let's just say, something that'll make you forget about all your problems. Hey. You look amazing. Thanks. I heard you crushed it at the game. Listen, I'm Kara. I want to apologize, okay, for it. Everything. It's fine, Ben. I just really don't want to talk about it right now. Can, can you just let me say this, okay? Years ago, Bailey made a friend. She made a thoughtful, kind, supporting, true friend. And listen, I was always envious of Bailey and what you guys had because I never had that with anyone. Listen, Carrie, you're wonderful, okay? I mean, you're thoughtful, you're, you're beautiful, and you're caring, and you protect everyone you care about. And you deserve someone who can do the same for you. And now me, I mean, I'm far from it, I know, and I played it cool even when I didn't want to. But my hesitation to be official with you, it, it, it was all on me. I mean, my last relationships, weren't exactly the best. I mean, I treated every girl terribly. And I'm sorry I did the same to you. you now, you don't have to forgive me. But I, I just want to make things right. Enjoy the dance. Ben? I accept your apology. Kara, I... But I don't make the same mistake twice. You're right. I deserve better. And I'm sure we'll find out. Hey, Petra. Hey. You look great. Thanks. You too. I wanted to apologize. I messed up. It's not fair to you. My heart being in two places. I know we can't go back. No, we can't. Maybe this is my chance to figure out what my life looks like without you. That's the silver lining. Whatever you do, you'll be great. I believe that. Not to drop a bomb in the middle of homecoming, but I thought you should know. I'm transferring schools. What? Found Lake offered me a scholarship if I joined their dance team, so I did. Oh, that's... No, it's okay. I just I wanted you to know. Well, you better go find your girl. Take a first spin. See you around, Petra. You seem distracted. Are things okay? Is it Petra? 
I don't know. It's just so tough when you have so much history. We depended on each other for everything. And now that Petra's transferring... I get it. Sometimes you don't realize how much someone means to you until they're not in your life anymore. Ivy. Are we okay? Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? There's something you should know. Yesterday, when you fainted, and I said I got you, you said... What? What did I say? You said, I love you. Finn. Next time on Chicken Girls. I think sometime would it be a bad thing. Ivy. There's gonna be no secrets, okay? This is the future, Bailey. Our future.